Hey there, welcome back. So we've been talking a lot about cognitive biases lately, and um, I have gotten such great feedback from all of you. So many of you will find this just as fascinating as I do. So today I want to tell you about another one called the anchor bias. And anchoring or focalism is a term used in psychology to um, describe the human tendency to rely too heavily or anchor to one piece of information when we're making a subsequent decision. And we see the anchor bias at, at work all the time in ads like this one, where the original price serves as the anchor so that the new price seems like a bargain. Dan Ariely conducted an experiment in 2006 at MIT in this bizarre auction. And the researchers held up a variety of items, such as a bottle of wine or a textbook, and they described in detail just how awesome it was. And then they asked each student to write down the last two digits of their social security number as if that were the value of the item. For example, if the last two digits of, the social of someone's social security number was 11, then the bottle of wine, for example, would be priced at $11. And after they wrote down that pretend price, then they bid on the item against one another. What they wanted to find out was, did the digits from the social security number serve as anchors? And remarkably, they did. The students with the highest ending social security numbers bid higher than those with the lowest ending social security numbers. In fact, the top 20% bid an average of say $56 for the wine and the bottom 20% bid an average of $16, the same bottle of wine. In the end, the students with the social security numbers ending in the upper 20% placed bids that were 216 to 346% higher than those of students with social security numbers ending in the lowest 20%. Speaking of wine, have you ever ordered the second cheapest wine on the menu while dining out? You know, you don't want to spend very much, but you don't want to look like a cheapskate ordering the cheapest wine. Studies show that wine um, snobs aside, one in four just typical diners order the second or third cheapest wine on the menu. And it turns out that the anchor effect is at work here too. In the marketing world, we can define this as a choice set effect with re respect to reference pricing, using the cheapest bottle of wine as the anchor to which all of the other wines are compared. My advice, drink what you like, because life is too short for a bad glass of wine. Want to learn more about how the brain works and how to make it work better? Check out my book, Happier Hour with Einstein, and the full color companion gratitude journal, available now on Amazon.